everyone so today we are looking at leak code number 48 it is a question called rotate image and so we are given an n by n 2d matrix representing an image and we want to rotate the image by 90 degrees clockwise we want to do this in place and we do not want to allocate another 2d matrix to do the rotation so here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we're going to rotate this clockwise and so we can see that one, two, three uh, is on the last column, four, five, six is in the middle column, and seven, eight, nine is in the first column. Okay, so if you're not familiar with matrices, this problem can seem a little daunting. It can definitely seem uh, uh, very, very difficult, but it's actually not that bad. Um, another question I highly suggest looking, I made a video on it, it's called transpose matrix. Uh, that kind of deals with a little bit of what we're going to do to solve this. So here we are going to have this uh, array here, this matrix with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And so what we could do is we could, let's say we have our rows here and we're going to have our columns here. Okay. Now what we could do is we could initially go ahead and swap swap everything from the row and column. Okay, so let's say we went ahead and swap two and four, three and seven, and six and eight. Okay, so what's that gonna look like? Then our new matrix is gonna be one, four, and seven, um, two, five, and eight, and then we're going to have three, uh, six and nine okay and we can do that with one pass we can just iterate through the the matrix and just swap the rows from the columns okay and so now that we have that what we can see here is if you look at the solution here it is one two three four five six seven eight nine and if you look at after that first swap we have the answer it's just in reverse order Right. What we're trying to, if we reverse all the rows, what we're going to get is we're going to get seven, four, one, eight, five, and two, and nine, six, and three, which is our solution. Okay. And so, what is our time and space complexity? Um, it depends on how you want to look at it. If you want to look at the size of the array, then it's going to be quadratic. But if we're looking at the, the number of cells, it's linear. So uh, we can just say this is going to be linear time or O of M as, as many cells there are in the matrix. So time complexity, we can get O of, we'll just say O of N. And then space complexity, we're not creating any new space. All we're doing is just swapping the variables as we traverse through, and then we're reversing it. Okay, so space complexity, we can say O of one. Okay, which isn't bad. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the code. So what we wanna do first is we just wanna swap the rows and the columns. Okay, so we wanna say for let row equals zero, row is less than okay and so now when we jump into the columns we don't want to go through each column we want to go through the adjacent column to the adjacent row so if we're going to be in uh, row one then we want a row zero then we want column zero if we're going to go into row one we want column one and if we're going to go into row two we want column two as well okay so we're going to set a column to row or column is less than matrix of zero dot length. Okay. And so now all we're doing here is we're just swapping, we're just swapping out the values. So matrix of row column is going to be matrix at column row is going to equal All 
right? So all we did there is we just went in and we just swapped this. We, we started here, then we're coming here and we're swapping these two. Then we're swapping this seven with this three and then this eight with this six, okay? And now we just need to iterate through all the rows and reverse them. Okay, and that's all we need to do, and that's the solution. Um, not too bad, not too bad if, if you just kind of look at how matrices work and if you can kind of step through each iteration of the, like each transformation of the matrix, if we transform it by swapping all the rows and columns, and then we can see that we have the solution, we just need to reverse the rows. Let's go ahead and run that, and, and we are good. Okay, so we, we are doing this in constant space and then O of uh, the cells, O of, L, uh, o of N time. Um, and so that's not bad. So yeah, that is lead code number 48, rotate image. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one.